can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training. And I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Lee gets hit with a kick. Oh, he tagged him. Great combination to the head. Oh, that body shot hurt him. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. There and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Big shot to the body. Oh, lands another hook. Let your hands go. Sidekick is true. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Leg kick lands. Nice crack there. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Guess the single collar tie now. Beautiful kick lands there. Come on, let's keep that right hand up. Nice side there by the champ. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Stay strong. Throwing that jab, no good. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh -huh. that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Nice front kick there. Oh, man. Lance a good series of kicks here. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Oh, beautiful jab there by Lee. Able to land with the left hand. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Oh, jabs in bunches here, splits the guard there, and continuing to keep his opponent at distance, courtesy of that crisp jab. There's a kick. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. He loaded up there on that high kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from in close. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Lee. 
Under a minute now to go in the round. Well, he has really come out aggressively to start this fight. He's staying technical, but we have certainly seen an uptick in the volume and the output compared to his previous fight. Good start for him here tonight. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Under 20 seconds now to go. Connects with a beautiful jab. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Trying to kick the leg out. Huh. Round two is next. level highlights from that last round DC take us through the replay if he fought like this I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right kickboxing competition he's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will he needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on you ready to fight ready all right round two all right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. Rounds. Oh, he just ate a nasty elbow on the feet. Really nice elbow. He does a great job of mixing up all of his techniques. He's not only punching and kicking, he's willing to use all eight points of his strike. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, he's got to try to finish here. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, let's take a look at the numbers. He is landing at a very high percentage here tonight. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Under three minutes now to go round two. Nice straight right, Lance. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. That's a big strike right there. Oh, collar tie. And there's a takedown attempt. Big right hook there by the champ. He's gonna get himself knocked out. He gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Well, you don't want to take too many kicks on that calf, and now it's starting to show some visible damage. You can see the color starting to change on the calf. He's taking too many of his kicks. Nice one-two there. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Just out of range with that kick attempt. 
Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action, and he was the one causing all the action. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. We'll work with that jab, jab lands. Just misses with the straight right. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Clinch position. Beautiful elbow over the top. 15 seconds remain in the round. Push kick there to the body. Two rounds in the books. All right, deep breath. Good round. That was a good round, but I need those kicks to land a little more. All right? You're not setting them up good enough. So. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready? You ready? Do it. Uh, three of a possible five. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the few rounds. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Good kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice straight right hand. Eats a jab there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. A little single collar tie there. Huge knee lands. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. It's a pretty fast jab. Circle, circle, and keep that right hand up. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. It's okay, keep your hands up. 
Well, at this point, he is black and blue all over, high-level damage, and I wouldn't be surprised, actually, even though it's body damage, to see the ref call in the doctor. It's almost over. John, this fight's almost over. At any point now, they can stop him. The doctor steps into the octagon, I believe this fight's gonna be called off. Nice jab. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single power. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch to the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lane. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Oh, huge left. Just out of range with that right hand. Now you're really starting to see the damage on that thigh, maybe check a kick, protect that leg a little bit. He's got to check a kick in return. You've got to make him pay for throwing these leg kicks. They can't be free. You can't just get your leg beat up. Right now, we're starting to see how much damage he's inflicted on his opponent. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Establishing the jab. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Final seconds of round three. Oh. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this Ready fight? fight? Ready. Four. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, take the goal. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Lee. Oh, he connects there. Nice side kick. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes, and at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter, but tonight he has worked the body to great effect, and those are really starting to take their toll. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. 
his opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Fast jab lands there. Oh, nice job to block that punch. Let's go. Use your and keep oh, going. that head kick was nasty. I can't believe he's still standing after taking another massive head kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well-placed kick there by Lee. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Just misses there with the left. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised. But neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Nice high guard. Shows great defense there. Under a minute to go in round four. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. All right, so the bruising on that thigh continues to worsen as this fight extends. He's going to have a real hard time walking in the morning. He's going to have a difficult time walking tomorrow morning. It's going to be a hard time getting up and moving around unless he changes something. Nothing is going to change right now. It's going to be tough. But right now, you still got to focus on winning the fight. Check a kick, man. Come on. Ha. He's got the single collar tie. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, take a seat, bud. Breathe, relax. Get some water and listen up. You felt his power. You're fine. Everything is good, OK? He won the strike in that round. All right, so leg kicks on, leg kicks, the big storyline in that round. DC, take us through the replay, man. Yeah, he was, I mean, what a display of high-level striking. What a display of getting the leg to the target very, very quick. So quick that your opponent cannot react. Great job. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. It is the fifth and final round. Lee gets punished by the uppercut there. That one's going to leave a mark. Oh, here's the hip kick. It's blocked. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Lee's limping heavily now. May want to raise a knee and try to check one of those kicks. I'm just not sure that his leg is going to hold up much longer as this fight continues. Oh, he gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Oh, the bruising on that calf champ. That's not good. Hey, take your cans off. Tell him to check a kick. I mean, 
we got to go back to pandemic fight where they can just hear the coaching because, man, he has not checked one kick and he's paying for it now. Fighter lands a nasty kick. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Superman punch now. Oh, how good is that jab by Lee? Big roundhouse now just misses. Oh, nice body kick. Nice right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. That uppercut appeared to find its home. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Very fast left kick lands for him. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. Double jab landed there by Lee. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Oh, nice right hand. That's how you do it. Beautiful kick by him there. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Two minutes now to go in this one. Straight punch. Useful. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the U.S. Great timing on that double leg. Lee getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He passes to half guard. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh. Lee's in half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely wonderful. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Oh, the kick landed. 30 seconds to go. Straight punch. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, 
Roosh, the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had 